Good morning. I'm working my camera this morning, starting and stopping, since it's just me and Coco here today. Um, there is a water pump in the background noise, but I don't think it's going to be in the orchard. I think it's just kind of farther back on some farmland. Anyway, it is Wednesday, Workout Wednesday, and we are going to do another really great, hopefully, uh, workout this morning. Uh, you'll need your mat and dumbbells. We'll start off without the dumbbells, but then quite a few of the movements we're going to be uh, doing will be incorporating the dumbbells. But if you feel like you're getting too winded, you're starting to get pain in your uh, wrists or elbows or joints or neck, you can always put the dumbbells down and do them without. Um, you know, that's always an option. Or keep a light set and a heavier set and do the heavy set for some and light set. I like to just do my same set for everything. So let's start off with feet in wide second position. We're going to bend those knees wide, bring the arms down, breathe in, reach the arms up, exhale, inhale, exhale. Breathe in, blow out. Two more, inhale. Birds are really loud this morning too. That's okay. All right, so we're just gonna kind of go side to side here, bending the knees and then reaching both arms up. The toes point on one foot as you reach across to the other side. You go five, four, three, two, one. And now we're gonna bring the arms into the body as we take the heel to the back. So a little bit of a hamstring curl here. Kind of just reaching my arms out, kind of acting like I'm pulling something into my body with my palms, fists. Nice, good job. Let's do five, four, three, two, one. Now the knee up, arms come down on the outside of that knee. You're really raising it up. Kind of want to just get some nice dynamic movement going first. Get the heart rate lifted. Kind of get the blood circulating. It's going to be another hot one today. I think it's going to be 99 degrees, I don't know, on Sunday or Monday. Crazy. Two more. Okay, now we're going to take opposite leg up straight, opposite hand down. You don't have to touch the foot if you don't want to or just can't. It's okay. I'm really reaching my arms up and back, holding up our own body weight. Five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Okay, so let's just do a roll down to kind of stretch out the back a little bit. Feet are parallel. I'm going to bring them in slightly. Bring the chin to the chest. Roll it down. One vertebra at a time. Shake out the head. Tuck the tail. Roll it up. Reach the arms up. Cactus the arms. One more time. Dive it down. Hang heavy. Shake out the head. Tuck the tail. Roll it up. Reach up. Reach back. Very good. Reach down and grab your dumbbells. We're going to start off in a push-up position. So you're going to come down. I'm going to do all of these on my knees because we're working with the dumbbells, but if you want to be on your toes, that's okay. So I'm going to come down on my knees. Also, if you need to roll your mat up for your knees, that's really good to do as well. So I'm going to turn my palms in slightly. First set of push-ups, just basic push-up. You're palming the dumbbell like this, okay, but your knuckles are down. All right, 10 push-ups, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, I'm going to bring my hands in a little bit, but I'm going to stay in this kind of internal rotation with my palms, but I'm going to push up and then do a row. So it's push up, row up one arm, push up, other arm. There's a very amount, like small amount of rotation happening, but not a lot. I'm not purposely turning. Push up, row, push up, row. Push up, row, we're still aiming for 10, we have four more. Push up, row, two more, push up, row. Last time, push up, row, good. Now, I'm gonna do a push up, and then I'm gonna try to raise an arm in front. Push up, raise my arm. Push up, other arm. Push up, raise the arm. Push up. Raise the arm. 
How are we doing? These are tough. My hands keep getting closer to me. I don't know if that's making it easier. We got it. Push up. Raise the arm. You got four more. This really fatigues that upper body. Or maybe I'm just speaking for myself. Two more. Did some yard work this morning, so a little tired already, but it's all right. Last one. All right, walk your knees in. Walk the knees apart and sit back to child's pose for a moment. Just stretch the arms out with the dumbbells. And breathe. Very nice. Okay, so we're going to come up from there. We are going to go into a plank. So I'm going to turn my palms in, reach one leg back, toes curled under, other leg back. Again, you don't have to use dumbbells for this. I'm going to hold this shape, take one arm up, bring it down, other arm up. And I'm going to rotate as I do this. A little rotation, a little rotation. First one is practice. Getting out of the comfort zone here. It's all right. You've got four, three, two, one. Nice. Back down on those knees. Child's pose it out. Very, very good. All right. So we're going to come up with those dumbbells, curl the toes under, bring those knuckles back in, push up on the toes, and then articulate in that C curve all the way up to standing. Okay. We're going to do some squats, bringing the weights down to the bottom. We're going to do 10 to the right, 10 to the left, repeat with the lunge. So here we go. Squat. There's one. So I'm just bringing my weights down. We've done these before without the weight. We're adding the weight on. Again, you don't have to. This is five. You got five more. Make sure you sit way back. Your back is flat, not rounded right there. Keep that back neutral. Three. You got it. Two. And one. Other side for 10. One. Two. Good job. Three. Hang in there. Four. Five. Loud it up with that sunscreen today. Six. Keep breathing. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. We go back this way at a back lunge with the moving leg. We'll see how it goes. So it's squat, lunge. Squat, forward raise with the arms, lunge the foot in the back. Squat. That's three. How are we doing? Breathing. Five. Reach it up. Six. And up. Seven. Get way down there. Eight, lunge it back. Nine, woo, 10. Work at everything, other side. Squat, lunge it back. Squat, lunge back. Always reset in the center before you go for that movement. Good. Here's four, bring it back. Five, lunge back. Six, seven, nice. Eight, big lunge. Nine, bring it back. You got one more. Ten, bring it back. Very good. Take a wide stance, second position. Big plie. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, heart rate coming down. Five more. Four, three, two, hold your last plie. How deep can you go? Tuck that tail, pull the core in. Arms in front, palms facing in, single arm. Raise, reaching it up. Other side, lift. All the way down before the other arm goes. Doing good. And four, three, two, one. Come out of your plie, go right back in. Double arm row, 10, or double arm raise, two. We'll do those rows in a minute. Three, four, five, six. How are we doing? Seven, you're doing great. Eight, 
nine, 10. Come out of the plie. Go right back into it. All right. Both arms row. One, two, three. Pull the core in. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Come out of the plie. Go right back into it. Overhead press. One, hold that plie. Two, three, four, five. We've got this. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Finally, come out of that plie. Very nicely done. Bring the feet together. Hinge forward a little bit. Shoulders down. Soft elbow. Back 35, 45 degrees here. We reach out one, two, fly, three, four, five. Lots of dumbbell work today. Lots of upper body strength training. But when we add that lower body component, we get a little bit more heart rate lift. Three more. Two. One. Now we add a row. Fly. Turn the palms back. Row. Palms in. Fly. Palms back. Row. Palms in. Fly. And row. Fly. Row. This is five. Fly. Row. Five more. Woo! Keep breathing. Those knees are soft. Four. And row. Three and row, two, row one more time, you've got it, and row, very good. So we are going to, again, step out to the side. This time, we're gonna take opposite arm down. So we're gonna reach down one, lift it up, two. So we are lunging into the stepping leg, opposite arm, reaching down to the foot, stepping back in, taking the arm up, there we go. Let's do five more. Five. Reach it up. Four. Woo! Three. You've got this. Two. One more time. Other side. Down. Bring it up. Lunging into that outside leg. Stepping wide. And four. Five. Six. Seven eight, nine, ten. Very good. We're going to take both dumbbells in both hands. We're going to do a halo. I'm going to bend my knees a little bit. I'm going to come around the front of my head, back behind, finish here, reverse. So I'm trying to work for my lats and a little of the obliques as I create kind of a halo round shape over the top of the head alternating each time. Knees are a little soft. You're sitting back like you're just kind of tapping your booty on the edge of a bar stool. Woo! Shoulder rotation. We're doing it. Two more. Let's do two more from here because we did that way first, that side and last one. Very good. Very nice. Okay, so squat, bicep curl, turn the palms facing forward. We are going to squat back. My feet are pretty wide, sitting into the heel bones, shifting that pelvis way back, pulling the core in, always to support the back. Sit way back on that squat. You got five more, four, three, two, and one. Now hold here, sit into that squat. So from here, you're gonna go to where you're a 90 degree shape from shoulder to palm and then just curl. So you're not bringing your forearm all the way down. Stopping there. If you have heavier weights, you'll definitely feel this more. How are we doing? Doing okay? Four, three, two, one. Very good. Again, both dumbbells in one hand. I'm gonna turn, sit a little bit here. So you can see here I've got both weights, both hands wrapping, elbows forward, Pull the core in, reach back, tap your back with one into the dumbbell, reach straight up one. Core in two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now just come back to 90 and go up one. Sit deeper, two abs in, three, 
So you're not touching your back now. You're stopping at that about a 90 degree. Breathing. Five, hello Hummers. Four, three, two, one. Straighten out those legs. We felt that very nicely done. Okay, so we're gonna turn. I'm gonna have both weights in one hand. My opposite foot goes into the front. I'm gonna find a big lunge stance. I'm going to do a nice bend of both knees, bringing the weight down, turn to you, rotate, bend, rotate, little balance, down. Turning from the waist, trying to really stabilize my forward foot, using my opposite hand to kind of stabilize as well. On my thigh, reaching down, feel your core working. You got five more, five, turn and reach, four, you guys are doing great. Three, I know you are. I can see, I can feel it. Two, woo, one. Now stay on this side, single arm tricep press, abs in. 10, nine, both weights in one hand. Eight, seven, six, five, four, sweating. Three, two, hold this last one, turn the palms up, pump it. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I should have brought a towel. Turn it around. Opposite legs in front. Big lunge stance. Tall you are, the more space. We reach down, we lunge. I turn, reach up. Two, woo, three. Anchor that forward foot. Four, five, abs in. Six, seven, Eight, nine, you got this. 10, nice. Bring the elbows back, square it off. Bend those knees, extend one, two. Matt's getting hot. Three, four, five, six. Keep that elbow high, chest square. Four, three, you may go next one, that's okay. Two, hold this, turn the palms up, pump it up. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Nice. Back to one double on each hand. Side crunches. We're going to start with both arms up. One, two, three, four. Pulling those arms down, squeezing into rhomboid lacerators, raising the leg up, pulling the elbow down. Pull, pull, and pull. No worry about counting. Let's just keep going. These are great and breathing. Woo! How are we doing? You should be warm. I'm sweating. And now we'll count down from 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bring the weights to the mat. Take a little water. Especially if you're walking like I am. All right. Roll down to the weights. Half roll down. Plant your feet. About sits bone width. Elbows are pulled in. Palms face in. Tuck under. Tap that low back. Articulate back up. And two. Grow tall. Three. Squeeze from your core. Four. Lift it up. Five. Breathing. Six. Seven. Eight, there's Coco. Nine. Ten, come up halfway. So we're not sitting up on our sits bones, we're hovering over that tail. Both arms out, one, pull it in low. Two, can you bring those elbows almost down to the mat? Three, pull the core in. Four, five, six, seven. Remember, you can put your weights down. Eight, nine, ten. Arms here, roll it all the way down. Extend the legs, arms go up and over. You know this is gonna be harder if you need to put the weights down. Don't hurt yourself, be cautious. Lift your head, curl up, reach out, bow, tuck under, low back, middle back, upper back, and head, breathe in. Exhale, curl, rounding, reaching. And again, tuck under, scoop the belly, reach through the heels of your feet. Two more for our five. Curl. 
Really reach. How much can you stretch that lumbar? Roll it down. Draw the shoulders down. You don't want to be in those upper traps. Oh, there's a wasp. Get away, wasp, one more time. And then reach. All right, we are going to come back on those feet for rotation. So in from this uh, roll down position, tuck under. Find your halfway place. Use your hands to feel that challenge of using your core to hold you here. Then extend your arms with or without weights. So I'm going to rotate to you. One, two, three. Use those obliques. Four, QL. Right, those muscles that sit right on top of your hips behind you. Great muscles. I call them the muffin top muscles at the studio. We always, I don't know, I laugh, but people probably don't think it's too funny. But I do. I don't know. Let's do two more. Last one. Roll it all the way down. Extend the legs. Reach the arms up and over. Another five roll ups. Lift the head. Roll it up. We're getting better. Practice. It's about practice. It's not about perfection. And again, here's 205. Lift the head. Roll it up. Round the spine. Pull the core in. Tuck under. Your tail is being pulled through the feet. Exhale, curl. Use your core. Try to make it smooth. So smooth, so slow, so controlled. Two more. We try not to use momentum in Pilates. It's an intentional drawing from the deepest layer of your abdominals, that transversus abdominus, right? That's your internal sphinx that protects your organs. And then hold here. Very good. All right, we're going to lay down for our hundreds. Guess what? You're going to use your dumbbells or not if you don't need to. If you don't want to, it's fine. Hold the pants. <laughs> Always tabletop legs. Squeeze the legs together, arms to the sky, back bones down. Now, when we have weights in our hands, we don't pump as quickly, so just be cautious, especially if they're heavier. These are three pounds only, so lift the head, curl forward, extend the legs, turn out, lower the legs a little bit, pump, breathe in, and out. So it's still five seconds in, and out, maybe two or three pumps per breath cycle. Fill in, toes are pointed, legs are zipped and straight. How straight can your legs be? This is not about letting your legs just hang in space. You're intentionally holding them out there. Breathe in. Blow out. Four more. Shoulders down. Three. Two. Squeeze the belly. Squeeze that navel. One more. Bend the knees. Feet down. Head down. Lower the weights for a moment. Take your hands up. Roll your wrists, your arms up. Wiggle your fingers. Send some circulation into those extremities. Very good. Now we're not going to use weights for the next couple of exercises, so I'm just going to kind of move them off. They probably rolled off. Anyway, yeah. So take the feet wide. Outside of your mat, we're going to do a starfish. So the arms are out here behind your shoulders and your feet. So I'm going to take my left leg, my right arm, reach up. I'm only lifting my head and shoulders, not the whole body just yet, a little torso, but we will get there. You can always come back to this if you would like. So curl and reach, tap if you can, or anywhere on your knee, shin, ankle, even thigh. You've got four, three, two, one. Now we're going to try to lift it all the way up. One. Two. These are harder. Three. Four. I'm fighting it. Five. Woo! Six. Seven. You can see it's not always easy. Eight. I got two more, I think. Nine. Ten. Oh, that was a raffle. It's okay. All right, let's do some bridging. I'm going to actually, I'm going to see my weights down. I'm going to just find rib cage over pelvis, feet slightly apart. Tuck the tail, squeeze the belly, lift up into bridge, articulate down. Nice to kind of get a little bit of low back movement. Squeeze your glutes. Roll back down. Let's do five, so three more. Pull the core in. 
You've got this, relax with the back of the head and neck. Remember, if your head is back, chin is up. Roll a towel under. This is five, so you tuck, you peel, you hold. Walk your feet together. Walk them to you so you're on your toes, your heels are up. You're in a pelvic bridge, belly in. Extend your right leg to the ceiling, toes are pointed. Flex the foot lower, point the toes, lift. You are not tapping the floor. You're actually going about mid-calf down. Good. This is five, six, seven. Keep lifting those glutes. Eight, nine, ten. We gracefully bring that leg down. We lift up. We squeeze the feet together. Squeeze the booties, the belly. Extend the left leg up. Toes are pointed. Leg is straight. Lower flex. One. Lift it up. Two. Belly in. Three. Shoulders down. Four. Squeeze the glutes. Five, six, seven, woo, eight, stay up on those toes, nine, one more time, ten. Gracefully bring it down, walk the feet out, flatten the feet, roll it down, reverse crunches. Cross the right ankle over the left, here we go, up, tap the bottom foot, two, three, four, use your hands on your mat, five, six, Seven, now last three, extend the legs up and over. Eight, tap the toes, nine, and 10. Cross the other ankle over, here we go. Up and down, just keeping those knees bent and open. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and now we go, and extend up one. That's eight. Nine, ten, nice. Butterfly crunch, feet together, knees apart and open, hands behind the head, curl up one, belly in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna hold on ten, take the hands out, reach, pump it up, ten, nine, eight, Seven, belly in six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back. Stretch everything long. You guys did great, that was tough. Flip over to your stomach. I'm just gonna flip over this way. Superman, Supergirl, swimming. Let's just start with some Superman first. Arms and legs apart. You reach up one, two, arms and legs are straight, three, Use your back extensors, rhomboids, serratus, lats, everything in back. If you look at an anatomy chart, you can see how many muscles are back there. Four more. We want them all strong. Three, two. We hold on 10, we swim 10, nine, eight. Lift up, seven, lift up those thighs, six. Lift up the chest, five, four, lift up more. Three, two, one. Very good. On to all fours. I'm gonna get this, this really bugs me. So keep your heart rate up, breathe, it's all right. This is a good time for just a mini water break if you need it. Otherwise, on the palms, extend one leg out, shoulders down, lift up one. Belly in, two, three, four, five, six, elbows are a little soft, seven, eight, nine, 10, bring that foot down, other side, extend the leg, belly in, one, two, shoulders low, three, toes are pointing, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you're done with push-ups, walk those knees back, we're not, turn the hands in, ten push-ups, here we go, one, abs in, two, three, four, five, get a little lower, six, Seven, we're getting stronger. Eight, we don't want to lose strength. Nine, ten, very good. Child's pose, walk those knees out. Sit back into a stretch. I can't see my arm. Let's check on the time. You guys are great. Shake out the hips, lower the shoulders, out of the neck. Hold here. All right, cow and cat, round the spine. Lengthen to your cow, your extension. Two more, suck the belly in around. 
lengthen, extend. One more round, lengthen, extend. Turning to the front, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take one leg out, inner thigh stretch. Other arm across opposite of this leg is going to, actually the same leg, I'm sorry, going to the other side of that leg, is gonna reach across. So, I have my right leg extended and my right arm kind of threading through the needle between my elbow and the frame of my body. And I'm kind of dropping into my shoulders, rotating my spine, looking this direction, giving my neck a little release here. Back into the midline, other side, same arm, reaches opposite. I'm looking in that direction opposite of where my leg is extended, pushing back a little bit through my pelvis, holding the stretch for three, two, and one, bringing it up. Sitting on your mat, either direction, the face away from the sun. There's lots of pollen on the patio, on those trees. Spine stretch forward, feet are flexed, legs are zipped, arms are out here. Remember, if you're tight hamstring, wall up something underneath your sits bones. Round the spine, reach forward, stretch the spine, articulate to neutral. Suck the belly in and reach, stretch. Sometimes these stretches are all we're giving our body for flexibility. Try to do stretching a little bit more, but remember, you need a warm body for a static stretch. So make sure you're warm before you do any holding, isometric stretching. Round, suck the belly in. Grow tall, grow through the crown of the head. Three more, scoop the belly. How deeply can you pull that navel in? How much can you stretch through the lumbar thoracic spine? Articulate up. You got it, two more. Reach, reach, reach forward, reach. Bring it up one more time. This time we're gonna bow a little bit deeper forward, but keep pulling the belly in for three, two, one. Stack it up. Take the feet outside of the width of your mat. Walk your hands forward. Try to get those forearms down. Drop the chin to the chest. Maybe soften your knees if you have to. Let yourself hang through the frame of the shoulders here. Walk up a little bit and then walk to one leg on the outside of the leg. Then reach for the foot, the ankle, the knee, wherever you can reach. Pull yourself forward and down. Anchor the sits bone on the opposite side. Pull forward for three, two, one. Walk your hands back to the knee. Walk through the center to the other side. Walk down or if you can't anchor that other sits bone. Pull those elbows down to the outside of the knee. Keep anchoring that opposite hip. Draw the chin to the chest and hold three, two, and one. Very good. Sweep your legs back behind you. Curl up onto your toes. Sitting right here onto the toes. Push into the heels a little bit. Good. We're going to come up and do a little bit of calf raising to uh, work the feet and the calves and the Achilles tendon. So press into your heels. Stand it up one or vertebrae at a time. Very good. Go to wide second position. Come to a plie. Raise one heel up, other heel up. We're back in a nice tall spine, head, neck, shoulders, ribs, pelvis. How are we doing? I got a sweat today. We're going to be breathing, bringing that heart rate down here on that breath. So inhale, exhale, both heels together, 10, 9, keep sitting low, 8, 7, 6, got warm, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Very good. So reach the arms in front. Inhale, bend deep. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Last time, inhale. Exhale. Turn the toes forward. Straighten the legs. Walk your feet out as wide as you can. Bring your palms down, look back through the frame. Bring your forearms down if you can. Roll to the pinky side of your foot. Hold here. Back is flat. If you looked in the mirror to the side of your body, there's no rounded across your rib cage. Nice flat back for three, two, sunscreen in the eyes. One, walk your feet in. Walk, walk, walk. You guys did great. Tuck under, roll it up, shoulder rolls three, 
two, and one. Thank you again for joining me. We'll see you next time. I appreciate you guys joining me. Good job.